Love using Photoshop? There's an iPhone companion out there, and we're going to give you all the 411. This episode of Ask Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Photoshop is a powerful digital imaging program. So powerful that there seems to be a zillion tools and functions, not to mention endless amounts of shortcuts. Can an iPhone app make it more manageable? Let's find out. If you enjoyed our review of AirMouse Pro, the same developers have another app targeting Photoshop users called PhotoKeys. This app was made to turn your iPhone or iPod Touch into a Photoshop companion that lets you activate all your basic tools and fire off user-defined shortcuts with hotkeys, all in hopes of improving the Photoshop user's workflow. Let's see how it works. The first thing you need to do is download the server software from mobileairmouse.com slash photokeys and make sure you have a healthy Wi-Fi network. You'll also need to be on either Mac OS X or Windows XP or Vista and of course have Adobe Photoshop. In this case, I'm using the older CS3 version of Photoshop and there's a bit of setup involved with photokeys. First, you need to open up Photoshop keyboard settings using Command Shift Option K. Or for those who haven't received their Photoshop Geek Club card, use Edit Keyboard Shortcuts. There you'll see the predefined keyboard shortcuts and you can create calls to your favorite workhorse tasks. Then on the desktop server side, you'll manually type in your shortcuts and their corresponding labels, which in turn show up on your Photo Keys app. Pressing these buttons should do the job on your active layer in Photoshop, therefore saving you time. But does it really save time? I found that many of the tools in the app could be activated just as fast, if not faster, with my existing keyboard. Whether using a mouse or tablet, there's a nagging sense of redundancy, not to mention a really involved setup for user-defined shortcuts. This extra peripheral doesn't add to my workflow, yet. We have a few ideas, but first let's check in on our hot app of the day. Hey everyone, Eileen here, and back with a slightly bizarre video demonstrating a new app and a hot app for jailbroken phones. Now, the first one turns your iPhone into a stethoscope. Check this out. I know, I know, that video is a little weird, but it generates a heartbeat chart. Kind of cool. Now you should know it's just intended for recreational use, but hey, maybe this is a sign for what's to come in the medical field. iStethoscope Pro is 99 cents in the App Store. And jailbroken phones can now purchase Snappy, a camera application for your iPhone that allows you to have access to your camera from any running app without having to exit it. Check this out. So for example, going from your lock device, you can hit the home button, Tap and hold the status bar, and in about a second, you're ready to take pictures. Also, from any running application, here I'm running notes. Simply tap and hold the status bar, and you're ready to take some pictures. Home button again to exit, and you've never left your running application. Snappy is available in the Cydia App Store for $1.99. App Judgment is brought to you by GoDaddy. Get reliable, secure web hosting without the long-term contract. GoDaddy's hosting plans are bigger and better than ever with 99% uptime, free 24-7 support, and no annual commitment. And support App Judgment by using the code JUDGE12 at checkout, and you'll get $10 off your order of $40 or more. Now back to Stephanie and her judgment on photo keys. After toying with photo keys, I developed a list of the good and the bad. The concept of improving Photoshop's workflow and being able to access customized hotkeys with just a touch is awesome. And just like AirMouse Pro, the server and the iPhone work smoothly together. But I did consider the very involved setup of hotkeys and the general workflow to be insufficient for my experience with the app. There's a bunch of things that could make this awesome. How about an app that offers tools such as pinch zoom instead of preset magnifications? Or brush size and hardness that change with top to bottom and left to right finger sliding instead of using the keyboard's bracket and shift bracket. If they can take advantage of multi-touch, oh the possibilities. And lastly, if they can find a way to load in Photoshop's shortcuts instead of manually typing them in, that would be a total win. Until then, I'm going to have to recommend to not download PhotoKeys Photoshop Remote for the iPhone. With that said, PhotoKeys is a good concept that has room to grow, and I'm still looking forward to future releases. I'm Stephanie Chu, and if you've got a tip for us, Send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com, hit up our forums, or contact me directly on Twitter at Merrily. I'll look out for you on the App Judgment Facebook fan page, and please subscribe to App Judgment by visiting our home on revision3.com. See you next time.